Okay, so in this video, and uh, this will be a short video, what we're going to do is just uh, create a new profile in Mach 3 by uh, using the Mach 3 loader. Uh, we're going to configure it to um, run the uh, JTEC laser, and then we're going to close her up, and be, well, after that, we'll be ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go into Mach 3 loader, double click on that. Uh, you'll see I have very few profiles in here. I have what I call the CNC profile. That's the basic uh, profile that I use for my work on my CNC. But we're going to um, create a new profile and we're going to clone that because that has all my motor tuning uh, numbers in it. And I know that my CNC works well with that. So um, we're not going to start from scratch. We're just going to clone what I have already in that CNC profile. We're going to call our new profile the laser profile. So Go ahead and start that. And then once we um, have that laser profile, we're going to open it. Um, hit OK. And the first thing that we're going to do is uh, make sure that we've got all of our motor tuning um, uh, numbers in there that's, uh, that are proper. So We'll go into um, config our um, motor tunings. Yeah, uh, 6400, that's what we use. Yeah, okay. All right, so we have the right, uh, the right clone. Um, we want to config our ports and pins, uh, go into our output signals, go down to output number one. Um, this is important, we're going to use um, Output number one for our laser. If you use a different output, you're going to have to change everything um, that you do different from what I'm going to show in this video. So I'm going to activate the um, output number one. The port is going to be number one. Normally, that's the, uh, the port that people will use on uh, a um, uh, parallel port. Um, it's LPT1. If you have your ports configured to something else, you should know about it. Uh, and then enter that number if it's different than one, otherwise enter a one. The pin number, I'm going to use 17. Um, I have a breakout board that goes off my Xylotex box. Um, I have no um, other um, accessories on that breakout board. This breakout board is specifically for the laser. If you have a breakout board and you're using output pin number 17, then you'd have to use a different pin and that would have a ripple effect later on uh, with what we're going to do. But uh, regardless for right now, we're gonna put down um, pin number 17 for our laser. We're going to apply that and hit okay. And I'm gonna go back in and check just to make sure that that um, did take, yes it did, okay. Um, the next thing I wanna do is move over to my spindle setup tab, click on that. Um, Go over here to the relay control and uncheck this box on spindle relays. On output number one, uh, output number, we're going to put a one. Uh, make sure that it's one on the second number. We're going to apply that, hit OK, and uh, close it. End the session, yes. Now we're going to go back in and check everything to make sure that that was. Um, that all took and that's recorded properly okay config ports and pins output signals yeah we got one activated port one uh, pin number 17 yes that's okay and go to spindle setup yeah, this is disabled and output one and one yep that's okay too so our laser profile set up we are good to now use the, pro, uh, the uh, post processor that we've just gone through in a previous video and get that to work with our, um, with our Mach 3. Uh, so that just about does it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and shut her down and we're going to move on.